boys who grow up and marry another set of identical twins. The question is, can those two set of twins have identical twins as children? Today, we are here to prove that two sets of identical twins cannot have identical twins as children. Our first piece of evidence is Punnett squares. A Punnett square is a diagram that is used to predict an outcome of a particular cross or breeding. Each offspring receives genetic material from each parent. These traits could be dominant or recessive. The offspring of each person has a different DNA sequence. The DNA sequence is different because DNA change. Therefore, the two sets of twins offspring will not be identical because DNA sequences are never identical. Our second piece of evidence is fertilization. Fertilization is the process of an egg and sperm coming together. This creates a fertilized egg called the zygote. This happens at the end of the fallopian tube, and the fallopian tube pulls the egg in so you can find the sperm. Each gamete that comes together in the zygote is random and unique. This is why twin parents are not likely to produce twins. It is similar to one set of parents having two children. Now for our final piece of evidence. Meiosis is the process where a single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing half the original amount of genetic information. In this particular situation, meiosis works by two haploid parent cells giving a diploid to a child. The chromosomes get chosen randomly, so it is impossible for two children to have the same 23 chromosomes they got paired with. Therefore, there is no way. Matter of fact, there is a one and two to the 23rd power ratio that these two parents can have identical twins. Here on the scoop, our evidence has shown that these two sets of identical twins cannot have identical twins. And that's twins. all for today. We'll see you next time on the scoop. <laughs>